Keir Starmer has had an absolute shocker. The mask has slipped and Blair 2.0 has come out to play. If the Labour leader had just kept his mouth shut on immigration, he was home and hosed at the next election, but he decided to put his big boy pants on and take Yvette with him to role play as a Prime Minister around Europe. I'm here at The Hague. Now, many people, of course, think he should actually have bumped into Tony Blair there, but that is very much a separate issue. And, and we're going, we're going to knock some heads together and show that we can be trusted on the world stage and sort out the migrant crisis. Well, in reality, what's happened is that Keir Starmer has tried to float a deal that was utterly doomed to failure, would almost certainly result in us taking more illegal immigrants than we do right now, do nothing to cut the migrant hotel bill and will bring us closer to Europe. All the work he put in trying to convince people that he's no longer a signed-up Remainer has gone completely out the window. And he's alienated anybody who voted for Brexit, loads of people who live in the Red Wall areas, and anybody who wants to take fewer illegal immigrants, which I think is most people. Crucially, he's also been completely mugged off by Brussels. EU diplomats slapped down his suggestion, saying that they can't even get their own house in order. So there goes the big attempt to look powerful on the world stage. He has also unwittingly exposed what a slow-moving, divided, dysfunctional juggernaut of misery the European Union actually is. The Dublin migrant agreement didn't work. Anybody who says it did is lying, OK? Because if it worked that well, then why has the EU spent the last seven years or so trying to come up with an alternative? And now they want each country to take a minimum of 30,000 people or pay 20,000 euros for each one that they don't take. Just under a quarter of a million people crossed the EU's external borders in the first eight months of this year. That is up 18% on last year, the highest since 2016, and let's be honest, it's only going to increase. So it doesn't take a genius to work out that signing us up to a deal now will be bad news for years to come. Countries with a large population and economy will take more, apart from the fact that Germany and France have just stopped taking migrants from Italy because they say the Italians aren't doing their bit, despite Lampedusa welcoming more than 8,000 people in the last couple of days. Oh, and the whole plan has stalled anyway, because Hungary and Poland, who appear to be among the only countries left in Europe who actually value their culture, are dead against it. Anyway, Keir Starmer has tried to grandstand. It's failed. He's tried to come up with a policy. It's failed. He's tried to foster closer ties to Europe, which is political suicide, but he's also failed at that. And he hasn't even got the result that he wanted. So currently, under the Tories, we are obviously doing an absolutely appalling job of controlling our borders. There is no messing around with that. That's a fact. But the fact is, as well, that Keir Starmer was happy to let the European Union dictate our border policy to us. And that, in my view, is even worse.